you looking for work? Depends on the work. You'll never find a more fair and honest job. If you don't mind a little manual labor and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. So, here's the deal. You are gonna be doing some digging. I'm your guy. No one likes a brown noser. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will ya? Bobby. What is going on in my tunnel? That room was filled with mire lurks. At least you put up a better fight than those good-for-nothings. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Who is this guy? He's just the guy we need to speed things along. Likes gadgets, money, and not much else. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. Let you back inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer that scrapped for parts. Mr. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. 
So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Head on inside. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. There you are. <laughs> Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep this city running. It's things we want. Things everyone wants. You get in on this, there's plenty for you. You got it? So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is... He's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. If you really think we need this guy... Trust me, this is the guy we need. Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there. Mercenary Frank, keep your guns in your pants. Capiche? Mel here. Can I help you? I hear you're some kind of tech expert. You heard right. Well, maybe tech is too general. I have a thing for robots. No, not that kind of thing. But I know my way around most machines, yeah. Why? Need my help? I am getting you out of here. If so, Maybe you shouldn't be announcing it so every guard in Diamond City can hear. Um, totally unrelated, but I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. Officer, 
You got something to say? Why is Mel in here? Him? He was caught trying to reprogram the robot bartender at the tap house to give him free drinks. Just between you and me, I would totally do that if I knew how. I was hoping to get Mel at a lockup. No way. He's going to serve his time just like everyone else. Mel here. Can I help you? No. I'm here to help you. Mm-hmm. You need me for something, don't you? Nobody helps me unless they need something. Um... Totally unrelated, but I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Darge asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. Holy shit. Now that is some armor. Protectron on duty. Huh? Let's do this. Something's out there. What just happened? Ah, there you are. Mel here. Can I help you? I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. Officer, the you zone. got something to say? I'd stay clear if I was you. You can let Mel out of here, or I'll break him out. Your choice. Hey, buddy, let's all calm down here. <sighs> Just go ahead and let him out early. All right. You're free to go, buddy. Let's just get out of here. Down. Mel, thanks for getting me out, I guess. So, you're Bobby's new toy. No one else would put this much effort in for me. God. That woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait, like, a day? What's the job? You've worked jobs with Bobby before? Enough to know she's not the most trustworthy person around. The team may change, but every job comes with the same set of cryptic instructions as the next. <laughs> yeah, you'd have better luck milking a rabid Yaogwai than getting a straight answer out of Bobby. Bobby can fill you in on the details. Yeah, because I'll get so much out of her. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. Cut! I'm your brother! Put the gun down! Don't move, Synth! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? 
Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Move along. Hey. He, he pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? I'm I'm not a synth. I I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I uh I need a minute. I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Glad you dropped by. Hey, Piper. Holding up, Blue? My favorite ballparks become a shanty town. So, today's been great. Interesting you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah, you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before? For the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one, but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next.
got yourself into trouble again, Mel? What can I say? All right, I we're learned from all the best. here. Mel, you want to introduce your little friend? Yep. Meet Sonya. This little bot is going to help us move through the Earth like a mole rat on jet. I'm excited to see what she can do. <laughs> I can't wait to show you. She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to get to the strong room ten times faster than just digging. And it's a hell of a lot safer than loading this place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonya, do your thing. So, what's the deal with the new guy? Oh, I got lucky with this one. Came right up to my door and took the job. He takes orders, and he's useful in a fight. What more could I want? And he's not so bad to look at, either. Maybe we don't burn bridges this time, yeah? Mel. If you find anywhere you want Sonya to blast, give me a... Just starting to have fun. Gotcha. Sonya. Sonya, you know what to do. Looks like a subway tunnel. Then we're on the right track. Ah, I see what you did there. What? No. Just keep heading southwest. We need to find a place to blast out of these tunnels.
Sonia here. No problem. Come on, Sonia. This has a Geiger counter equipped. I'll just keep my ears open for clicks. I don't want to nerf. Turned <laughs> out over it, but a Robco Pip Boy is a rare find, my friend. You're gonna have to let me play with it later. We need Sonya here.
Bobby. Great. Now my socks are wet. Well, guys, we're right under the Diamond City strong room. You sure this is the right place? I've been mapping it out, and I think Diamond City should be a little further north of here. I don't have a doubt in my mind. How about a little trust for the boss? Tell the truth, Bobby. Where are we? Under the Diamond City strong room. And that is the last time I'm saying it. We still need a way to get up there, though. Mel, you think your robot will work here? Look at this place. The foundation is already crumbling. One blast from Sonya and I bet the floor above will come right down. Well then, make it so. He won't want to be in the room for this collapsing foundation and all. Good thinking. All right then, everybody clear out. Sonya, prepare yourself for a blast at maximum power. Here we go. That didn't sound good. Okay. Now let's get up into that strong room, shall we? Oh no, 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 Sonya! Pull yourself together, Mel. We don't need that thing anymore anyway. But you can make another robot with the hall we get from the strong room. Keep your head in the game. Yeah, about that. As Mel guessed, this isn't the Diamond City strong room. I see the rest of you are in the dark about this. Nice, no-nos. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. You know. Hancock. The mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys. I know this isn't what you expected. But there are still a ton of caps on the line here. Help me take her out, and all of it is out. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy tends to hold grudges. Counteroffer. Just go back into your tunnel, and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? Come on, Bobby. At least if we leave now, we leave with our lives. I haven't come this far to run away with my tail between my legs. You are either with me or against me. What is this about, Bobby? Why did you lie to us? I knew no one in their right mind would help me rip off Hancock. Everyone is so damn afraid of him, but so damn in love with him. He thinks he is invincible. I wanted to show him he wasn't. You lied to us, Bobby. And you have to pay. You can't do this to me. This isn't how this is supposed to go. Know what? Fine. More for me. Damn. I was just starting to have fun. Well, they're not going to need that stuff anymore. <coughs> you made the right move. Sorry to cause you trouble. The boss will understand. You didn't know what you were doing. Here, take this. A token for doing the right thing. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. You should go pay your respects in person. It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Trust me. I don't know nothing about you. Hancock. Well, if it ain't Bobby's little Patsy. Here, for protecting my stash. Wise decision putting Bobby down like that. So, 
We're okay? We are. <sighs> Let me tell you, this classy little dry corner hat of mine is getting heavy. Am I turning into the man? Some kind of tyrant? I spend all my time putting down the people I would have been proud to scheme with just a few years ago. I need to take a walk again. Get a grip on what really matters. Living free. Can you just leave, good neighbor? Aren't you the mayor? Hey, the mayor's still the mayor whether he's in residence or not. I've walked out of here plenty of times. Keeps me honest. Can't let power get to my head. That's not what being in charge of good neighbor is about. Well, see you around, Hancock. Yeah, you too. I'm gonna take some time to think about all this. You ever need a good looking ghoul to watch your back? Let me know. Your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Money, huh. I, I do have 125 caps in the old Rainy Day Fund. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get-up. Please, hurry. So. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever hmm. made. Look at this place!
call a confirmed kill. Imagine we find a vault down here. Let's check it out. Open the door. Why is that thing so loud? I'll make this quick. This won't take long. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of... Oh, oh. Huh. What the... Get him! That reminds you of the old days. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. We got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open. shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way and risk life and limb for an old private eye? 
Whoa. What... what are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. This is Vault Tech Interview number 03. For the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject. Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the vault's residence council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Why does that take so fucking long? Yes, of course. They People need them. government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve... Ooh. Yes, I think we have everything we need. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Hard and loud. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. Doors on the Can't press. pick this. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Something worth a few caps in here. What? Hmm. Guess it was nothing after all. Done that a few times. This appearing act ain't fooling me. You gotta die already. Doesn't take long. No. 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 Oh. More stairs. Who built this damn vault? A fitness instructor.
Got it. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out? Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men? Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here fast. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ten. Look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh God, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. We 
When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. Who were the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on. But a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who... killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... No one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. 
You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Well, what do you know? The door's not even locked. Let's head inside. Nick. Give me a sec. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Don't make Place me carry that worthless you? crap. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Well, that's one way to hide a room. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. What? The great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. If you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Joking aside, but what about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. Then he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I don't know. I might need your help on this one, but maybe I should go on my own. If you need me, just come knocking. If not, then the next time I see you, I hope it's with your son, safe and sound. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. What do you think, boy? Was this our man? We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg.
Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? Well, well. Dog meat must be part bloodhound. Why don't you give him a break while we pay Kellogg a visit? Safety off. I think you have to... Hello? Hostile sensor reading detected is someone you must die now, human. I will report this assault to direct. Other side's chained up. Yeah, it 
visit my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. Damage. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years, but I don't need a roommate. Leave. <laughs> Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured you'd come off and chew you up like a turkey. Is someone attacking human? Got it. Hello. 
by order of the Institute, you must be destroyed. <laughs> You got guts and determination. It's admirable. You are in over your head. That's it. Just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. And there he is. Most resilient man in the Commonwealth. Funny. I thought I had that honor. Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. So where is it, huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, 
You ready? I'm going to make you suffer. Engaging. this tech. You were barely human. Nikki, I'm All just asking for your opinion. Oh. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak Repeating. of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. This is Paladin Dance on what happened? All Brotherhood of Steel units you were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. Repeating. He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. We ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access, in and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew, I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, It'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. 
I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Repeating. This is Paladin Dan. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about little old me. I may have Dan's walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. All Brotherhood hmm. of Steel units are to return Amal's to the Cambridge downstairs. Police Station immediately yeah, yeah, for, for reassignment. That. Repeating. This is Paladin Dance. Dr. Amari? Yes. Yes. I remember you. All Brotherhood the of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Vault Police Station 11, right? immediately for reassignment. What's this all about? Repeating. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. This is Paladin Dance on Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. And so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you... Have it with you? All Brotherhood of Steel units Here's to the what I could find. For What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? This is Dance on frequency 9-5. Let's see here. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? Repeating. A lot of flashes. Static. I, I, this is I can't make Dance sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. All the mnemonic the impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Repeating. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there, and keep your fingers crossed. 
See you on the other side. Repeating. This is Paladin Dance on frequency 95. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Initiating brainwave migration Repeating. between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. Paladin it's Dance degenerated, but it's there. Five. We are going to load you into the strongest memories All we can Brotherhood find. Of steel units they might are to not be to the stable. Cambridge Police Just hold Station on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she... Oh, I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Trying to sleep. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. I'm sure that's gonna take some getting used to for a lot of people. Mm, what? People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. What's it mean? This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub. Rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. And I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I... I never deserved her. Not for one second. But we don't know anybody here. And now... Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory.
How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. So, um... I hear you'll take care of people's problems. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. We do, as you can see. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. And kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but... You have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. 
Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Oh God. Cryogenic Again. stasis. I'll try to locate another memory as quickly as I can. Please try to remain calm. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so... This one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Still working. Not the eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me, and I made sure they knew it. That's good. The eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... I never like to. And yeah... I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. This is the one. Here. Open it. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. 
It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. What? The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It's all over, but the dreaming. Egg 688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Hell yeah. 
even so going to read that now? Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You... feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. The world will be shown Adam's glory. <clears throat> Adam will lead us all to glorious division. Stop right there, stranger. You approach Adam's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Holy ground? Adam? What's going on here? Adam reached out and touched this world, bringing his glow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. The world will see Adam's glory. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? He's... dead. Don't you lie to me! I'm not lying. I 
and killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? I need whatever information you've got. Anything to help me get into the Institute. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. What do you want from me? Before I had to escape, I was working on a serum that would serve as a cure for my condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still in my lab and, well, look at me. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the Institute. What do you say? You help me and I'll help you. All right. All right. Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the Molecular Relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The Relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? I don't really know. Doesn't sound familiar. Not surprising. They don't come out often. And when they do, few see them. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. What do I need to do? Listen up. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, 
and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie, the odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for.